Hey, JNM here. This is the next part of sculpting the human head with Blender. In this part, we are going to add the eyes. You see, I used the fill brush to fill the eye sockets a bit. Because I want to bring out a shape for the eyelids, and I will use the inflate brush then to create a kind of rounded area that will be the eyelids later on. I smooth it out a bit, and then it looks like as if the eyeballs are already behind it. And once I'm happy with the shape, I press Shift and R to increase the voxel resolution because I want to remesh before I paint a mask. You will see why in a moment. First, I press Ctrl and R to remesh and then M to activate the mask brush. And then I draw onto the mesh the start and end point of the eyelids. It is a kind of measuring because then I know where I have to add the eyeball and how big the eyeball has to be. I just draw it in not too much, just to indicate the outlines of the eyelids. Okay, and then I invert the mask by pressing Ctrl and the I key. Then adjust it again a bit so that it isn't too large and then I can use the inflate filter brush to move these parts here into the mesh. And then I remesh again. I know this technique is a bit unusual, but it has two advantages. First, we automatically get hard edges for the eyelids and we can already see the right dimension for the eyeballs. Okay, now we can emphasize the outlines a bit more and move the eyelids with the grab brush to find the shape of the eye sockets and the eyes. Okay, once we found the basic shape, we can switch to object mode and add a UV sphere for the eyeballs. But this is just a prototype that I will replace later on with a more realistic eye. Okay, I go to edit mode and press G to move it, then R to rotate it and hold the control key pressed so that I can rotate in 5 degree steps. Then I scale it down, also in edit mode, and then move it into position till it fits the eye socket. Again, scale and move till we have a sphere that matches. Okay, now I see that we have to bring it a bit more into the head like this. And this means that we also have to bring the eyelids more into the mesh. That's okay. I go to sculpt mode and use the grab brush, press G to activate it, and then move the eyelids to fit the eyeball. Okay, it is just a matter of moving around the shape and it can also help to use a reference image. And you can use the grease brush, for example, to add some slight folds and emphasize the edges. Okay, that's good enough. Now I go again to object mode and add a mirror modifier to the eyeball just to see if the shape of the eyelids basically works.
that's okay. Of course, at this stage, you can work on the expression and adjust the shape again. And once I'm happy with the form and the shape, I go to object mode again and remove the prototype eyes. And to add a more realistic eye, I press Shift and A and here I have the auto eye add-on installed. With that, you can add really nice eyes. Have a look at this. The eye is added now. And then I scale it up and bring it into the eye socket, like I did for the prototypes before. But here you see this has a nice material. And the model contains the anatomy parts like the sclera, the iris, the cornea. And this already looks great, but wait a moment till we switch to the render mode. The iris here helps a lot to find the correct scale. Then I move it again into position and then I select both parts. The iris is a separate model. And then I press Shift and D to duplicate and then move it to the right side. Okay, nice. Then, as I said, I switch to the render preview and have a look at this. The best thing is that the color, the material, is not a texture. It is fully procedural and we can change it as we like. I set the color of the iris now to blue tones. Just some random blue color. And here we can also adjust the amount of the sclera color and the veins. Many, many options here. Okay, that's it again. I upload it to my Gumroad and the link is added to the description below. And I also added a link to the Auto Eye add-on that you find on the Blender Market. Check it out. It's a huge time saver. Guys, I hope you liked the tutorial and my channel. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Support me as my patron. Nice perks are waiting. For instance, you get all my projects from Gumroad or you join as a member and you get the same. If you have questions, add these to the comments and I see you in the next one here on JNM.